What's going on guys and girls? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Tuesday afternoon. 2.01 p.m. to be precise. Got a little delivery today. Little delivery here. Anyway, it uh, took a little longer probably because of the uh, holiday weekend, but maybe not. You never know. Anyway, we got it. And for those of you that know me a little bit, keep up with my channel a little bit, you know that I collect some things. This would be some of those things. Let's go ahead and open her up. Let's use this knife right here, brought to you by Big J's Knives. Go check out his channel. Let's check out this uh, knife right here. Look at that right there. But just look at that. You look at that right there. Knife. I'm going to use it backwards. There we go. Perfectly executed, Marco. Perfectly executed. Big Jace knives. So let's open this up. Now, this has two things in it that I really am looking forward to, and two things that are. Eh. And here we go. Hey, I opened it the right side up. Let's go ahead and get one of them that I'm not super excited about, but I'm okay with. Uh, as you know, guys, if you keep up with my channel and if you see behind me here, I collect uh, Masters of the Universe action figures from... It started from the new Netflix series, Revelation. The second season is called Revolution. Will there be another season? We don't really know yet. So anyhow, this is what these figures are from. And some of these figures are also, uh, they're basically from the Masterverse line, is what they're called, Masterverse. And this is just one of the subcategories of the Masterverse line. The other one is like New Eternia and uh, some other special things they might throw out there. But typically the Masterverse has to do with Revelation, Revolution, New Eternia type stuff. So, <laughs> Google it. Go Google. Anyway, here we have the new Hordak from the actual series itself from Revolution. Hordak. And I do have the other Hordak that came out in the Masterverse line. He's more from the pop uh, cartoon, Princess of Power. she Princess of Power. He's more from that line. Uh, he's in that style of character. So, again, it's hard to kind of look at all the beautiful artwork on uh, little substandard uh, webcams. But uh, there's always glare. There's always something. But down there it gives you an idea of what we're looking at in this wave. I think this is wave 13. I could be wrong. I think it's wave 13. So we got a new Hordak. And you see right here we have some Horde Troopers. Well, Mattel has released information that we are going to get a special timed release sort of figure uh, on a Horde Trooper. It's going to be a special edition one, kind of a larger scale one, I believe. So that's going to be cool. Don't know when it's going to come out, but hopefully uh, sometime soon. Let's go ahead and show this one next, because that's another one that I'm like, eh. Now, this right here also tells you, uh, shows you what else I'm talking about. New Eternia. New Eternia is just like different, it's a different time frame, different renditions of the figures and characters, all that kind of stuff. So, this one here is Thunder Punch He-Man, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Thunder Punch He-Man. Now, I had him as a kid. Uh, he was a little different as a kid. You put, like, the little cap gun, little 
cartridges in him and you would kind of turn his body like so and it would snap back and and pop I think that's how it was heck I don't know it's been 40 years ago I think that's how it was but anyway here's their new version of Thunder Punch He-Man and this is the new Eternia line and uh, again we'll look at some box art as best we can the monitor always glares on these boxes so not really much I'd do about it and uh, he's a good figure and all and the reason I say I'm kind of eh with this figure and the Hordak is because like I said I've like I've already got 10 different versions of He-Man in this in this Masterverse line so that's one of the problems with it they just keep releasing new you know variations of some of these characters and and I buy them all because I'm trying to collect the whole line so you know you end up with 10 versions of He-Man I don't need 10 versions of He-Man technically so still a cool character and it's cool to see him in the line even though there's about a dozen other characters we should have already had speaking of here are two of the characters that I'm glad we got and uh, I had these as well when I was a kid of course you know they all look different way back then but still this is the new version of these characters and this one here is the Masterverse Princess of Power rendition of Leech cool figure again hard to see all the details and stuff because of the glare of the monitor the monitor but as you can tell he is a leech and there's Adora and Grizzlor Adora is She-Ra oh I gave that away and I do have a Grizzlor over there in my collection already so we got Leech. I'm glad to have Leech. He's one of the cool characters. I always liked the characters on the Prince of the Power show. Uh, they always had some cool uh, bad guys. Hopefully we'll get a couple of more that are bad guys on the uh, Prince of the Power. And hopefully we'll get more heroes from the Princess of Power. I'm all about it. I'm all about that. And there's Scorpia right here, Scorpia. Hopefully we'll get her eventually. That'd be cool. I like that character. So anyway, we got Leech. And as a box collector, I keep all my stuff in the box, so I don't open them. So I always hope that my boxes are in really good condition, and so far they look and feel pretty good. And here's one uh, here's the last one of the of the wave been wanting this one for a while too and I'm glad they finally got him out now this is the new Eternia variant well number one because he wasn't in the new show Revelation Revolution he wasn't in the show so these new Eternia are also ways for them to get out all these old figures that you know weren't in the show in the new show so we have Cyclone Cyclone he's always a really cool figure kind of a beloved figure and uh, I've seen some images of him online and uh, you know looking at him looking at him through the through the art is kind of different than seeing him out you know out of the package and he looks really cool he has kind of like a I don't know a metallic kind of look to him and stuff so pretty cool figure maybe we'll get some of these weird characters here but, uh, the original Cyclone in the 80's uh, spun circles I think you, you squeezed his legs together like so and he would spin circles if I'm remembering correctly this one doesn't do that they cut out a lot of their little neat articulations their neat little stuff in this line and a lot of the lines you know I don't know if it's you know cost or just they don't want to go through the you know process of doing the stuff anymore or what but uh, you know in the 80s they had they had these figures that could do things that well they're not doing now so but it's okay things change 
Sometimes not always for the better, but the figures are definitely cooler now. Now, they don't give you that retro vibe from the 80s TV, you know, from the 80s cartoon. They don't give you that retro feel, but it's a new updated feel for the new series and just new stuff that they're doing. So, that's good. And, uh, anyway, that's the new line. Cyclone. And, uh, these are the first that I've collected since I was a kid. And, uh, once the TV show started and I've seen the first wave of characters... In the in Walmart when I went in, I was blown away. I said, "I'm gonna get these two, uh, these two characters." I think I got He-Man and Skeletor. I'm sure. And uh, and then that night when I got home, I said, "I'm gonna go back and get the other two. I'm gonna collect these." So after all these years of being a huge fan of the Masters of the Universe property and all that and the you know everything about them uh, I finally let myself go and collect them again and enjoy them and uh, I never really wanted to go back and collect the old figures because I had a real attachment to my figures my toys my collection and if I was going to collect them I would want my old toys back well can't really do that so I never let myself really go back and collect any of the variants or, you know, any of the different lines and different things over the years. And, and I'm not a big collector anyway. I don't really like collecting and gathering garbage. So, but these are not garbage. And, uh, and I'm glad that I've let myself do this and enjoy, uh, uh, enjoy doing this for lack of better words. So. Anyway, uh, I'm really enjoying these, and the next, we should have another wave out probably in another month or so, maybe two, month or so, I don't know. And then hopefully that Horde Trooper will come out, and and uh, hopefully we'll get a few more, a few more little things uh, for the remainder of this year. So, anyway guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the little unboxing. I enjoy uh, the figures, I enjoy the little unboxings, and showing you a little different side to me and the channel and uh, there's more to us than just lifting and eating this or mental discussions and but speaking of mental discussions uh, these make me happy this kind of stuff makes me happy my drums make me happy and so that's why I do share that uh, a little bit on the channel with you because it's a mental sort of a thing so uh, do things that make you happy and that are good for you so anyway guys I hope you enjoy if you did, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael, your Masters of the Universe having host. And uh, don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and collect some things. Just don't be a hoarder. All right? Or don't be a hordak. Don't be a hordak. Don't be a hoarder or a hordak. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!